this light is my heart. I'll leave it on for you forever. All right, we are recording. Hey, everybody, I'm Joe. Welcome to the sixth and final episode of Create Together. We're telling stories about people all over the world coping with this strange time of pandemic and isolation by staying creative and doing it together with other people, collaborating online on all kinds of creative projects. If you've been with us from the start, then you've been following the progress of this project called The Class of 2020. And in a second, I'm gonna show you the final chapter of that story and we will unveil the finished music video that we've all been making together. But before we do that, I want to uh, call your attention for a second to these little short pieces you might have noticed throughout our series that call out the title of our show. These little pieces are known as bumpers, and even though they're very brief, they have so much character and they really add a lot. And like everything you see on this show, these pieces were made by people all over the world, many of whom are not professional artists, but are taking this time during quarantine to do something creative. Oftentimes they're learning a new creative skill, and that spirits a lot of what I think Create Together has been about. So before we go on, I just want to take a moment to introduce you to some of the artists behind these bumpers. Hey everyone, I'm Bethany Dunn, and this is my setup for stop motion animation. I've only been animating throughout this past year. I'm learning, and even little progress is progress. I made this. I used a cloudy animated background by Ponytails and Caprice. Then I put it in my little photo editing app and erased the background. Hi, this is Sam. I live in the south of France. I had COVID-19. I had medicine all over the house. I thought it would be fun to use them in a stop motion animation to motivate me to feel better. Hi everyone, my name is Sam. So I made a bunch of little bumpers involving floor. This is floor. <laughs> I've been crocheting about five or six years and I was going through hit record and I came across the Morning Monsters project and I seen a picture of floor. I said, I have to do this. And I spent the day crocheting them and I thought it would be fun if I could animate Floor, acting out all of the different lockdown trends. He makes bread, he does his gardening. My personal favourite is Floor and Chill. <laughs> so he's in his little bed and he's watching a movie on his phone and eating snacks. I had to use lights for that animation to give that feeling that there was something in front of him that he was watching. It was a bit of trial and error to try and figure out what colour lights, where do I put the light so I don't get shadow on me or on him or I'm not in the frame. I love crafting when my mum's up here. And what's our latest project we've worked on together? Um, coronavirus stinks like poo. But we can... Create! Do Together. Together! Why did you choose to call it Coronavirus Stinks Like Poo? Because Coronavirus Stinks Like Poo. It does. It does. If Coronavirus had a smell... It would stink like poo. It would. It's about to go crazy. Okay, now, finally, the moment we have all been waiting for. This is the third part of a three-part story about this project, The Class of 2020. Uh, like a lot of great collaborative projects, it started with a great project leader. His name is Ben Perez. He's a music teacher in El Paso, Texas, and he wanted to do something special for his students whose graduation is being disrupted by the pandemic. So he wrote a letter to them, and he recorded himself reading it out loud, and he put a simple keyboard track behind his reading, and then he invited the world to jump in and build off of 
of what he had started, with the goal of creating an original music video. His project inspired other teachers to write their own letters to their students, uh, and also inspired students and really everybody to just offer their own words of encouragement to the class of 2020. When we last checked in on the project, all kinds of musicians were playing along with Ben's keyboard track, and since then people have been contributing illustrations, videos, photos to make up the visuals of the music video. My name is Tiago Yudin. I am 13 years old and I currently live in Queens, New York. Soon, I'm going to be an 8th grade graduate. But due to the virus, my graduation isn't going to be at all what I expected. My assistant principal handed these posters to everybody so that we could wave them in the air as our teachers came passing by in their cars. And it was really nice to see everybody again after so long but it's still like not the same. It is a sort of disappointment to not be able to hold a proper celebration to commemorate everybody's achievements. I decided to contribute to the Class of 2020 music video. I came up with this idea of shining a light onto 2020 because I wanted to show that despite all the negative things that are happening right now, that there is still hope for us. I wrote a quote on top. We may flicker, but we'll never extinguish. The quote means that there are so many hardships around the world that people are facing. And despite these harsh winds, the flame that is our hope won't be blown out because we are resilient. Uh, my name is Asha, and I am a middle school art teacher. I made an art piece, it's a painting and collage. I started thinking about the fact that when you graduate, you sort of have this whole world in front of you and all these different paths that are open to you and what path are you gonna take and all these choices. I've decided to incorporate more of the text from the letter in here as well. So I wanted to contribute to Ben Perez's Class of 2020 project because my own younger brother belongs to the Class of 2020. So I went on and contributed to the typography in all the languages that I knew. That is English, we are 2020, then French and Malayalam and Hindi and Tamil and Korean. I thought, why not contribute something that would give this video a global touch? Because it's kids all over the world are facing this. And now the time's come to unveil the finished piece. I really couldn't be prouder of this, um, both in how well it turned out and in the way it came together. The collaborative, creative journey of this project has been so inspiring to watch. So many different kinds of creative people, writers, voice actors, musicians, singers, visual artists. People don't even consider themselves artists, all coming together to make something beautiful and meaningful in this crazy time. Of course, none of it would have happened without Ben who started it all. He's worked really hard throughout the process. He's been a pleasure to collaborate with. So thank you, Ben. Thank you to everybody who contributed. And uh, here it is. I am proud to present for the first time ever. This piece is called We Are 2020. Hey everyone, it's Ben here. It's been a crazy journey. It's been freaking amazing and I could not be more excited for where we're at right now. I have been amazed at the amount of contributions that have come in from everyone all over the world. And the fact that some of my students contributed percussion brings it back full circle because this all started with them. And I cannot be more excited. I'm about to watch this video for the first time. So, here we go. Nobody could have known this was coming. Nobody knew where the world was headed. And I never would have thought reading stay at home in the headlines would be something I dreaded. It feels unfair that this moment has been taken from you. Prom, yearbooks, parties and celebrations. You don't get any of that. But I'll tell you what you do get. Resiliency. Innovation. Creativity in the face of adversity. Because of this experience, you'll have a deeper compassion for others and fight even harder for what is right. You'll gain courage and inspire the younger ones. By your example, from your experience, with your own words. As I sit here writing this letter to you, this much is clear. You must be the strong ones. The start of a new generation. I won't lie to you. You've got some work ahead. 
You've been handed a challenge you didn't ask for. In a world full of things that need fixing. It's now on you to rise to this occasion. So cry on our shoulders if you have to. Then we invite you to stand on them. Because your walk is more powerful than a stage. Your prom is dancing in the light and leading us all the way towards hope. Get dressed up. Put some music on. Dance with your family or whoever you're with. Remember, it's your day. May you lead the path towards a better tomorrow. And we will be here. Rooting for you in whatever future lies ahead. Class of 2020, we're here for you. We hope for you. We believe in you. We're counting on you. When I when I could hear my students, my my students' contributions in there. Thank you so much, because I couldn't do this without any of you. I said this before. There are so many amazing teachers out there, and so many that are more experienced. And let's be honest, they're more amazing than I am. As teachers, we try to give our kids everything, and we try to do everything we can for them. And you see everyone that got involved. So many people, so many walks of life everywhere. I could not be more grateful for this gift, not only to my students, but to everyone in the class of 2020. And I thank you for that. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Now let's go freaking change the world. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our show. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to YouTube Originals for all the support. Most of all, thank you to everybody who's been contributing and collaborating on all this art we've made together. And of course, even though this is the last episode, the creativity does not stop. There's always all kinds of open projects on Hit Record. Come check us out, jump in on something. I really do hope that if you've been watching this show, whether you're quarantined in a pandemic or not, we've somehow inspired you to find some time in your day and do something creative. It does take a little bit of effort, but just remember, you don't have to do it alone. Thanks again. Again, my heart.